Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome back to ReneeEnergy.com. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking approach to green hydrogen production, extracting hydrogen directly from seawater without the need for desalination. As hydrogen becomes a key energy source in the global clean energy transition, one challenge has been the reliance on freshwater to produce hydrogen through electrolysis. For coastal and island nations where freshwater is limited, this poses a significant barrier to large-scale hydrogen production. However, new technologies are emerging that offer a promising solution, extracting hydrogen directly from seawater without going through the energy-intensive desalination process. This breakthrough could unlock hydrogen production in regions with abundant seawater but scarce freshwater, making it more viable and scalable. Let's explore how this technology works, the key research institutions leading this innovation, and the potential implications for the green hydrogen economy. Currently, green hydrogen is primarily produced using electrolysis, a process in which water, H2O, is split into hydrogen, H2, and oxygen, O2, using an electric current. When powered by renewable energy like wind or solar, this process results in green hydrogen, a carbon-free, sustainable energy source. The issue, however, is that electrolysis requires purified water. If seawater is used, it first needs to be desalinated to remove salts and impurities, a process that is both energy and cost intensive. This poses a significant obstacle for countries and regions with limited access to freshwater but abundant seawater. Imagine the impact of skipping the desalination step altogether. That's where direct seawater electrolysis comes in. Researchers worldwide are developing innovative materials, catalysts, and membranes that allow hydrogen to be produced directly from seawater. This breakthrough could drastically reduce both the energy consumption and cost of hydrogen production, making it more accessible to coastal and island nations that face water resource constraints. However, electrolyzing seawater presents several challenges. One of the biggest issues is its high salt content, particularly sodium chloride, NaCl. When untreated seawater is electrolyzed, chlorine gas is often produced as a byproduct. Chlorine gas is not only harmful to the environment but also corrosive to the electrolysis equipment, which can increase operational costs. The key to overcoming this challenge lies in developing advanced catalysts and membrane technologies that selectively extract hydrogen from seawater while minimizing the production of chlorine and other undesirable byproducts. Several research institutions have been at the forefront of this innovation. A major breakthrough came from Stanford University, where researchers developed a nickel-iron hydroxide catalyst combined with a layered catalyst structure that efficiently splits seawater into hydrogen and oxygen without producing chlorine gas. This discovery represents a significant advancement in making seawater electrolysis a viable option for large-scale hydrogen production. The innovation reduces both the environmental risks and operational costs associated with traditional seawater electrolysis by mitigating the production of chlorine and other harmful byproducts. This could pave the way for more sustainable hydrogen production directly from seawater. In a separate breakthrough, scientists at the University of Central Florida, UCF, are exploring transition metal dichalcogenides, TMDs, which act as catalysts to improve the efficiency of hydrogen production from seawater. These materials are particularly resistant to the corrosive effects of salt water, making them ideal for long-term use in marine environments. Their research has focused on creating stable, high-performing catalysts that allow the electrolysis process to occur without damaging the equipment, thus extending the lifespan of hydrogen production facilities operating in seawater environments. Meanwhile, in Singapore, researchers at Nanyang Technological University NTU, are leading the development of electrochemical cells that utilize specialized membranes. These membranes selectively allow hydrogen ions to pass through while blocking unwanted ions such as chloride. This technology prevents the formation of chlorine gas during electrolysis, further enhancing the efficiency and safety of the process. For a densely populated island nation like Singapore, where freshwater is limited but access to seawater is plentiful, these innovations hold immense potential for transforming the country's energy infrastructure. 
the promise of direct seawater electrolysis is particularly exciting for coastal and island nations like Australia, Chile, and Japan, which have abundant seawater resources and strong renewable energy sectors. These nations are well positioned to lead the way in scaling up hydrogen production using this technology. Australia, in particular, is making significant strides in green hydrogen production. The country has vast coastlines, abundant solar and wind energy resources, and a strong commitment to becoming a leader in the global hydrogen economy. The Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization CIRO, has been actively involved in developing hydrogen production technologies, including seawater electrolysis. Australia's hydrogen strategy envisions producing hydrogen for both domestic use and export, and eliminating the need for desalination could significantly reduce the cost and energy requirements associated with hydrogen production. By harnessing its natural resources, Australia could become a major player in the global green hydrogen market. In addition to the advancements made on land, there is growing interest in the potential for floating offshore hydrogen production platforms. Offshore wind farms are already producing vast amounts of renewable energy, and combining them with direct seawater electrolysis could allow for hydrogen production directly at sea. Imagine floating platforms powered by wind or wave energy, converting seawater into hydrogen without needing desalination facilities onshore. These platforms could act as decentralized hydrogen hubs, providing energy to nearby coastal regions or even being transported to distant markets. This approach could reduce the need for large-scale land-based infrastructure, making hydrogen production more flexible and adaptable to different environments. However, there are still challenges to address before direct seawater electrolysis becomes a widely adopted solution. One of the key challenges is material durability. Seawater is highly corrosive, and developing catalysts and membranes that can withstand long-term exposure to saltwater is critical for the technology's success. Researchers are actively working on creating corrosion-resistant materials that can operate efficiently over long periods, ensuring the longevity of hydrogen production systems. Another challenge is scaling up the technology from laboratory experiments to industrial-scale production. This will require collaboration between governments, research institutions, and the private sector, as well as significant investment in infrastructure. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of direct seawater electrolysis are enormous. By eliminating the need for desalination, the overall energy cost of producing hydrogen is reduced, making green hydrogen more affordable and competitive with other forms of renewable energy. Additionally, the ability to produce hydrogen directly from seawater could open up new opportunities for countries that have been constrained by freshwater limitations, allowing them to participate in the global green hydrogen economy. Environmentally, the benefits are clear. Not only does this method of hydrogen production reduce the need for energy-intensive desalination, but it also minimizes the environmental risks associated with chlorine production. The resulting process is safer, more sustainable, and better suited to long-term use in coastal and marine environments. In conclusion, extracting hydrogen directly from seawater without desalination represents a significant breakthrough in green hydrogen technology. With leading research institutions like Stanford University, UCF, NTU, and CIRO advancing the field, we are closer than ever to making this technology commercially viable and scalable. For coastal and island nations with abundant seawater resources, this innovation could unlock the potential of green hydrogen, helping them achieve energy independence and contribute to the global clean energy transition. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, be sure to subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com for more updates on clean energy innovations and sustainability breakthroughs. Together, we can build a cleaner, greener future. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.